Dextralorphin DXA, is an opioid derivative chemical of the morphinin class that is used in scientific research. It acts as a sigma-1 receptor agonist and NMDA receptor antagonist. It has no significant affinity for the sigma-2, mu opioid, or delta opioid receptor, or for the serotonin or norepinephrine transporter. As an NMDA receptor antagonist, in vivo, it is approximately twice as potent as dextromethorphan, and five-fold less potent than dextrorphan. Uses in scientific research Masking of sigma-1 receptor Dextralorphin is often used in research to block sigma-1 receptor sites so that sigma-2 receptor sites which have not been cloned yet can be studied. It was hypothesized that both of these sigma, sigma receptors were opioid receptors, due to their affinity for psychoactive drugs. However, it is now understood that they are non-opioid receptors that bind to certain psychoactive drugs, like dextralorphin. One example of dextralorphin being used to mask sigma-1 receptor sites was seen in a study on the localization of the sigma-2 receptor in detergent-resistant lipid raft domains. It has also been used to mask sigma-1 receptor sites so that sigma-2 receptor binding characteristics in the rat liver could be determined, by labeling sigma-2 receptor sites with 3H-L-3-D-O-tolylguanidine DTG, in the presence of 1μM dextralorphin solution. Animal studies Dextralorphin was used in Sprach Dolly rats to study cerebellar Purkinje neurons electrophysical responses to the drug when it was applied iontophoretically as a sigma, sigma receptor ligand. Dextralorphin increased the firing rate by 14%, suggesting that sigma, sigma ligands like dextralorphin alter the spontaneous firing of Purkinje neurons and cause motor effects. In another study, dextralorphin, along with other opioid derivatives, was found to be a potent inhibitor of etorphine inaccessible A sites in the guinea pig brain. Dextralorphin was of the top three most potent opioid inhibitors of those studied, with a concentration of 67 name required to show 50% inhibition. History In 1955, dextralorphin has been used to study inhibition of cholinesterases and to look at the relationship between analgetics and acetylcholine metabolism. It was found that dextralorphin inhibits 25% of bovine erythrocyte cholinesterase at a dose of 10 minus 3 mol per liter, which corresponds to a concentration of up to 0.2 mg per kilogram in dog intestine. However, at this dose the drug showed no effect on the gut tone. Dextralorphin was classified as a potent inhibitor of the intestinal and red blood cell cholinesterase based on the concentration of the drug needed to inhibit these enzymes in the cholinesterase preparations from the animal systems utilized. Simultaneously, dextralorphin showed no analgesia and no change in intestinal tone. With these results dextralorphin helped prove that there is no correlation between the inhibition of cholinesterase systems and analgetic or intestinal effects. In 1979, dextralorphin was found to have a half-maximal inhibitory concentration IC50 for binding to the pituitary and brain receptor of 10,000 plus or minus 1,000 nm and 10,000 plus or minus 1,500 nm, respectively. While its stereoisomer, levelorphin, had a 10,000 times more potent dose, thus proving that binding to these receptors is stereospecific. See also Morphinin Oxalorphin Dextrorphin Dextromethorphin Levelorphin References